Anderson May, Deborah March joining us for our Monday mornings with the mayor's segment. It's nice to have you back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you well, for having me. Of course. of course. You were just in Washington, D.C. for the United States Conference of Mayors. What yes. was discussed? Well, we discussed a lot of important topics uh, impacting all of mayors across the country, whether it's uh, immigration or transportation solutions or innovation, which is becoming a, a big issue. And, and uh, of course, I had the opportunity to speak at the French Embassy to talk about transportation and, and the future of mobility and how things are changing. And in fact, we in Southern Nevada received a, a $5.3 million grant for the GOMED project, which will be a, 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 a a mobility project that will actually move people through uh, vehicles that have no no operator, but they'll be operating between downtown Las Vegas and actually the medical district. So it's called the GoMed project. Mm. Whoa! Yeah. When but, does that start? Uh, they're actually working on it right now to put it together. Obviously, there's technology that has to go into the ground and uh, to make this happen. But it's a huge project, and the federal government uh, gave us a 5.3 million dollar mm. grant to make that happen. Nice. So it's really an innovative project. Nifty wow. stuff. Yeah. We like to lead the way. Well, yeah. Just before, Mayor, you went to Washington, D.C., you had your second uh, State of the City address. What are some yes. highlights from uh, not only the address, but just the looking back and the looking forward for Henderson? You know, a big thing that I talked about was the, the strength and health of our economy in Henderson and how we actually are a double A-plus bond-rated community. We have healthy reserves to protect us should there be an economic downturn coming in the next several years. Um, but also uh, that we are growing as a city and that we want to make sure that we're growing mindfully so that not only are we growing and having more people move in and more businesses move in here, but we want to maintain that quality of life that our residents have come to know and to appreciate in Henderson. And certainly uh, big projects, you know, the Costco opened, the Raiders uh, broke ground, and that's mm -hmm. so exciting. And by 2020, spring 2020, we expect to have the Raiders operating out of their office complex in uh, West Henderson. Good deal. Yeah. All right, you talked about the GOMED at the United States Conference of Mayors. What about a big announcement during the State of the City? Oh, we had a wonderful announcement. It's a $600 million project. Google is coming to uh, Henderson, West Henderson. There's only 13 locations across the country, uh, or across the world, but then six in the United States, and this will be an additional location. They're going to be operating Google uh, Gmail, um, YouTube, and Google Calendar, which will be operating uh, and supported out of the city of Henderson. So we couldn't be more thrilled. They're going to be creating about 50 jobs at $65,000 a year. These are good jobs that uh, really will support our economy. And that's been part of our strategic goal in economic development is to get good paying jobs into our community. Right. Well, today the uh, 2019 legislative session starts up in Carson City. Yes. Uh, I'm curious, what are some issues that lawmakers up there are going to talk about that folks down in Henderson would like them to address? You know, an important priority for us, obviously, is education. That we know if we don't take care of our future, generations and improve the quality of education in our state then then we are set back and we know that our schools perform very high in Henderson and that's not enough for us we want them to do even better so we're we're working with the legislature we actually passed a resolution uh, to support uh, an initiative fund our future to ensure that adequate funding goes to education to support our schools and our children and our families that are, are in our community Big concerns there, that's for sure. Yes. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit more about the town hall like events. The initiative with that. Yeah, we, we actually have had great success with the March On events. Every month we do community outreach, and, and that was one of my priorities when I was elected mayor. Um, and so one of the things that we've decided to do is also uh, give folks in the community an opportunity to hear from their council members. So the town halls will support uh, our council members coming out once a quarter and having a conversation with the residents about issues that are important to them and ask questions of their council member and how that person might be representing them and addressing issues in their community. Okay. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> as someone who grew up in the Henderson area, mm -hmm. I remember as a kid how long it took to drive from Henderson up to the old Santa Fe ice rink for hockey. Yes. People down there have long been expecting a rink to be built down there. We've been hearing there's been some discussions with the Golden Knights about building a project. Where do things stand right now? We have been in conversations, and we hope to have an announcement fairly soon. Um, we have a number of locations that we're looking at in, in the Henderson area, but certainly the, the Golden Knights are committed to coming to Henderson. In fact, 30% of the folks that go out to Summerlin are coming from the Henderson community. So this is an opportunity for them to support and encourage that same 
same level of enthusiasm for the sport uh, that they do in Summerlin. I know you don't want to talk necessarily about a specific location, but any idea on how big this project might be? It would be very comparable to the one, the, the uh, city state national? Of city national really? arena. Great. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Very exciting. More details to come. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. being here, Mayor. Thrilled if you have a question here. for Mayor March or any of our other mayors, head to LasVegasNow.com. Click on the banner that says Monday mornings with the mayor.